My culture meant a great pride in doing physical labor. I know. That's why I hire people from your culture. <laughs> You're too funny. I'm gonna share that one with my next husband when we're spending all your money. Mmm, so good. I want a cheeseburger. This is a special soup called pho. You told me not to say that word. It is delicious. This is the food of your people. Can I get you anything else? Actually, um, we're just trying to teach our daughter about your country. And as I'm saying that, I'm hoping you're from Vietnam. I was born there. <laughs> <laughs> so was Lily. Oh, it's a beautiful country. Uh, my family still lives there. I hate Vietnam. Lily, honey, we don't hate. I hate Vietnam. Okay, hey, oh, we need just a second. Lily, that was rude. I want to go home. No, it's important that you celebrate the culture of your ancestors. You are Vietnamese. No, I'm not. I'm gay. I'm gay. Honey, no, you're not gay. You are just confused. Oh, my God, what is wrong with me? It's like I... Oh, please, we have tons of lesbian friends. Odd that you would reference our friends and not us. Okay. Also gay. We should just go. No, nobody's going anywhere until she finishes the whole soup. No, Gloria, it's fine. No, 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 it's not fine. That's the problem with this country. Nobody cares where they come from. They just want cheeseburgers and prep school, and they have forgotten about Colombia. Okay, I can't help but feel that maybe you're bringing something to the table that's possibly uh, not at all about Lily. I think you're right. It's just that I feel like I'm losing my children to America. They're just going to grow up and become boring old white people. Oh, most of our friends are white, actually. Okay, can everybody just calm down and go back to their own conversations? Just thank you. Hey, hey, what's going on with you? Manny has forgotten most of his Spanish, and yo, I'm sure he's not even going to learn it. I know this is silly, but I just don't like feeling like I'm so different from the rest of my family. Oh, honey. He feels so lonely, oh, Wait yes. just a second, Lily. Is that why you want to be gay, to be more like your daddies? Oh, honey, no, the three of us are a family, even though we come from different places. You know, you were born in Vietnam, and I grew up in a city, and even though he never talks about it, your daddy grew up on a farm. Yeah. The point is, is that we're a family because we love each other. Okay. And you know what? You just cost a scene in a restaurant, and you can't get any more like your daddies than that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take Manny and Joe to Colombia this summer. I think that's a great idea. I really think that keeping in touch with your heritage only enriches our culture. Absolutely. I think we would all be better off if people would go back to where they came from. I... I'll pull the car around. Yes. Did you hear that? Mm. Luke broke the... Hey, you changed your clothes. Well, I, I had to get dressed. Into that sexy, clean... Oh, my God. It's the fireman. No, And sweetie. lipstick. I'm out here convulsing in agony, and you're looking for cute tops to wear? I just threw on the first thing I could find. <sighs> well, we got a minute if you want to try on some tighter jeans. Oh, Phil, sweetie. Oh, no, by all means, Claire, we want you looking your sexiest when the hunky gay firemen get here. How we doing? We're great. He meant me! All right. Oh! What's Jägermeister? Um, well, you know how in a, a fairy tale there's always a potion that makes the princess fall asleep and then the guys start kissing her? Well, this is like that, except you don't wake up in a castle. You wake up in a frat house with a bad reputation. Those rings so compassionate. If you had been there, you would have laughed just as hard as I did. He's coming. So Stop talking. He's been embarrassed enough today. <gasps> Wow, now it makes sense. It's a Pritchett thing. Cruelty's genetic. Suddenly it's all very clear. Be careful, you might run into it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Cam, I'm sorry. Oh my God, Dad, your face. What? Oh, that's nothing, nothing, it's, it's boring. I went to the dermatologist, it is a boring story. I'm no, fine. no, no, we gotta get you to a hospital. I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine. I'm taking you, Go Gloria, no, no, wait, wait, wait right here. Gloria, Gloria. Um, hey. Hey yourself. Move. You kind of just bumped me with your car. I don't think so. No, no, you did because, um, see, yeah, I got grease on my pants, and then also I felt it. Call an ambulance. OK. I just thought you might want to know in case you wanted to be a decent human being and apologize, but no. 
Okay. Ass. What did you say? Forget about it, all right? Listen, Carrot Top, I didn't touch you. Oh, so do God, the smart please. thing. Shut your hole, get in your car, and drive away. Is there a problem here? What the hell are you? I'm the ass-kicking clown that'll twist you like a balloon animal. I will beat your head against this bumper until the airbags deploy. So apologize to my boyfriend right now. Apologize? Boyfriend? Apologize! Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go. We're going to be late. Dad! Where? Right there, behind Colby! Oh! Oh, my God. oh, how weird is this? Quick, quick, tell me something to say that'll freak him out. Tell him I'm pregnant. No, I'm not gonna say that. Well, here we go. How funny is this? <laughs> hey, it's Phil. You know what to do. Well, that was pretty funny. But the longer you hold on to it, the more the guilt builds, the more you get. Five years, trip to Paris with my buddies. 10 years, sweet little convertible. 20 years, hello, fully articulating five function robot that can read my mind and has feelings. Phil, you're not leaving without saying goodbye, are you? Hey, Elaine. Is this your husband? Uh-huh. Goodbye, Paris. I'm visiting my sister, and he was entertaining us all afternoon with his card tricks. Oh. Is that Phil? Hey. hey, Mom, Phil's leaving without a hug. Wow. Goodbye, fully articulating five-function robot with the ability to... Goodbye. Brittany, hurry, honey. Phil's leaving. Ow. You're fine. This is a beacon of freedom. Welcome to the United States of America. That's a white. Pretty great country, huh? Oh, hello, Claire. Hi, honey. I just got back from those beautiful... Oh! Oh, indeed. Welcome to your pre-recorded seduction. Mama likes. Papa knows. That's right. I know my wife so well, I was able to anticipate her questions before she asked them. Well, this is kind of fun. The sexiest? I don't know. The world's a pretty big place. Help yourself to a glass of wine, my love. Well, it's kind of early in the day, but how often do we get the house completely to ourselves? Easy, Thirsty. I've got plans for you. Hint, this won't be the last time you see me on a sheet today. Now you. Well, I guess your beautiful lunch will have to wait. Someone's here. No, Claire. What? Yes, Claire, show me those pretty feet. How do you turn this thing off? She said... Oh, God, here he comes. Who? Oh, this little guy in his 40s here every Friday. Always has a super complicated drink order. Oh, hey, Alex, I'll have a 20-ounce ice skinny hazelnut macchiato, sugar-free syrup, double shot of espresso, light ice, not no ice, no whip. Thank you for meeting with me. I came as fast as I could. We can't use that money. It's for college. <laughs> okay, okay, let's spend it. What are you doing? Um, you know what? I have decided that we, we cannot eat these curly fries. Bup, bup, bup. Shake it. The container can. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming around. Turn around. Me. Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my tears. Turn around, bright eyes. Who? Dad. Come on, Jay. Yes. Everybody will remember it. That's extortion. Come on. Every now and then I fall apart. Here it is. And I need you now tonight. And I need you more than ever. Is this even a song? Once upon a time I was falling in love. Now I'm only falling apart. There's nothing I can do with the total eclipse of the heart.